This is the story of a new children's book called Savior. A rhyming and hand-painted book all about the life of Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, those voices. Two longtime <laughs> friends set out to create an approachable story for young children of the life of Jesus Christ. They join me now, Maddie and Kendall, to share their inspiration and how their Kickstarter campaign was fully funded in less than eight hours. I had to jump on this right off the bat because I have a personal Kickstarter and it took me the full 30 days to actually get to my goal. You guys did it within a day, not even half a day, within hours. Amazing. It was Thanks. incredible. We were so grateful for the support of our friends and family. Yeah. And Maddie, you're in Colorado now. Uh, you're in Midway, mm -hmm. um, but longtime high school friends. Just always knowing that we wanted to do something like this together, but like kind of waiting to figure out what it should be about, what we should do. And when our children were born, we realized that this is what we needed to write about. Did it surprise you how quickly people were ready to jump on and support you guys? In the best way. I mean, yeah. we know we're not the only ones who want something like this for our children. So we were really happy to know that other people are looking for the same thing. Now tell me, when was the Kickstarter? It's still going. Oh, it's still going. Mm -hmm. So what are we up to now? About oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was moving so good today. Like when we walked in. Oh, it's going to was... keep going up. <laughs> yeah, it really it, is. So it thankful. ends next week. But yeah, we're about over double funded and we're just so appreciative of that. What was no. your goal? Originally 8,000. Oh my gosh. And within eight hours, mm -hmm. 8,000 mm -hmm. plus, and it's still going, going, going. Well, what does it say when when you know that there is that so much support out there for a project like this. We have felt so called to it and what it really reinforced to us is because it's not just for us, this is needed across the board. Kendall and Maddie, how old are your kids? I have a three-year-old girl. Three-year-old. Mm -hmm. And I have one four and six-year-old boys. Okay, and are those the voices that we're hearing? Yeah. They <laughs> are adorable. Now, tell us also where the project stands now. Are you already done printing? Is this the proof? So these are the actual, we have two versions. Okay. And we created one that you can just like <gasps> never Oh my gosh, can even you look at, try that again. I know, you, you can't. can't. And so we have like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and try to, and it just gets a, it's wash kid it. proof, you just kid yeah. and parent proof. And this right one there. is board book style. I mean, you also can't tear this as easily, but um, we wanted to have a version available for all sorts of situations. I think you need both, right? Mm -hmm. One in the car and one at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the response has been like within your circle and also the friends that you know who are, who are on board with you guys. I think one of my happiest responses are, that we love so much is um, with this painting of children. We tried to incorporate children from every walk of life and ability and There's to diversity. show them yeah, mm -hmm. next to the Savior. We really wanted them to see themselves next to him. And so that has been something that's been so meaningful. And seeing people respond to that has just given us so much validation. And we're so Absolutely. grateful. So this idea came up in high school. And now that you have kids, did, oh my gosh, the little blue truck, one of my very all-time favorite <laughs> books. <laughs> uh, did that even um, commit and invest more in, in your purpose? Absolutely. We knew we wanted to create together, but until our children were here, we saw how fast they can memorize books, they can respond to art, and we thought there is nothing that teaches them about Jesus Christ in this way, but they're ready for it. They respond to it. We want to make that for them. And seeing them in that photo shoot respond to that book for the first time and engage with each other was just so, so happy for both of us. Is it hard to find books like these? Um, for little kids and bedtime story time um, to, to have kids relate to the story of Jesus Christ. That's one of the reasons that we self-published was because we talked to several publishers and they told us, you want to tell her? <laughs> Well, they said, we I are still interested in this, but the art is not typically what we do for children's books. And mm. honestly, we said, that's exactly why we're making it. We don't think they need a cartoon or digital art all the time. It is beautiful. It's all hand it's watercolor realistic. paintings. And it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. like, and we look thought at that. children How can should you not see that. Not be 
engaged in something like this. It doesn't have to be cartoon. I think it's just beautiful artwork and it's Thank simple. You. Thank right? You. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a simple story. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's Thank rhyming. Yeah. We brought it down for their level. It's beautiful. Um, what is your hope? So much. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have to lots get of these dreams. on shelves in stores and grow our own website after this. We're a small startup together and learning everything, and we just want to keep this growing. And we just want every little child's hands to be able to see the Savior in a way that they can relate to. And what's your timing in all this? Like, when can we see it on the shelves? So our Kickstarter ends next week, and we'll be sending those out to people, and then we hope it'll be on shelves over the holiday season this year. Okay, excellent. By the end of the year, thank you so much, Maddie and Kendall. A great project. Congratulations. Thank you thank so much. Thank you visit for your, having us. Visit their Kickstarter, because who knows? We need more of these, and thanks again thank for you. coming thank and sharing. You. Don't go anywhere. We head to the kitchen next for the secret to making the perfect burger. I know it smells perfect. And it probably tastes perfect too. You gotta check out what's happening downtown right now. We walk you through this immersive art experience that's a family must see. And then we think we know simple math, right? But there's an egg riddle going viral that may get the best of us. Try to solve this popular riddle with us at the end of the show.